Hi there, <clears throat> it's Tanya from Touch Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So this is part of um, the Amazon packaging journal that I've been making. I've stopped for a, a few weeks because I'm working on a de design team project for Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, and I thought in the meantime I can start making some uh, embellishments and an ephemera to use and what I don't use I'll, I can then do some some other blue uh, projects with so yesterday um made clusters snippets and uh, a lace snippet band um, and today we're going to do a collage board so <clears throat> this is one of those you know folders like so they've normally got um you know a gusset thing there all i've done is cut it down so it's you know one one straight piece and i'm going to collage on the back of this and then i will cut it down for journal cards and pockets and tags and and things like like that so what I've got, I'm just going to start off with the neutrals. I've got some <clears throat> old dictionary paper. I've got some music paper. Just getting it the side that I want it. And these are some digitals. I think that's um, from the Bohemian Crafter. Um, I think it's like an office set and this one too. And... I'm not sure who these are from. I've got like a folder with um, old ledger papers, but um, there's no name on it. I feel like it's Digital Curo, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is going to be uh, the background in in this part. I've got my tear roller. All I've done is I've gone round the mall and took off all the, you know, the white um, part. Ah. Uh, got my tear roller and I'm going to try out this Alma's Extreme. Uh, Julie from Camilla Crafts has been using it and she's been raving about it. <laughs> so we'll see uh, how good this is. I'm quite happy with the normal glue stick that I use um, but this is supposed to be for bigger tougher projects so you know we'll see we'll see how it goes. So <clears throat> I'm going to start off just by my uh, tearing down and I'm going to start off in this corner I'm not going to ink it what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go around it after it's dry with a makeup brush and just go go around the, the edges so I might as well glue on, on top of this if it gets all a bit too sticky and that I shall get a book out and and glue on so just make sure that's right up, up to there well that feels as if it's gone on really really well yeah i could be impressed with this yeah it stuck it down fabulous uh i don't know if to i think i'm going to put that in that corner i may end up covering some of this up but we shall see. I like starting off with nice, nice big pieces. It's very sticky, but not sticky that you can't move from it kind of thing. But yeah, you can feel that it's very sticky. But it is quite expensive. And you do use a lot of glue when you're doing these kinds of, of things. I have used it because I'm not sure if I'm going to be sewing these or not. And I thought, well, if I end up not sewing it, it probably stands a better chance um, with that. So I shall rip this down and I'm going to pop that there. I'll 
obviously you can do this at the back of a cereal box just open the cereal box out i normally do it on on an a4 uh, piece of card i've done it where you join um you know your book pieces up i think i did that in the uh roxy creations um challenge there's lots of ways and you know lots of different things that you can put <coughs> on a to use as a as a base right so i'm going to pop that down there that I'll leave that a minute so some music paper so I think I'm gonna have that right down that seam so all I'm putting on this first layer is just neutrals I don't want to leave any little little gaps. Did I put enough on there? Let me just lift that back up. Okay. and I'm just going to overlap it and I will cut that, that off like, like that and I'm just going to be random and, and put that there just to use that bit up don't want to leave myself a load of scraps from from it so that's there right what else have we got I've got some of this uh, gritty stuff so I think Kenny wants to be about that wide I'll pop that in there and I'm just gonna take some off because I'd like to see a bit more of, <coughs> of that there so that will be lovely there I was using a smaller piece of paper obviously I would do this the same kind of thing but in smaller uh, pieces but <laughs> if I did it in smaller pieces for something this size it would it would take forever so I'm gonna pop that there And the good thing about doing it on this card is I won't then have to back 
um, all the tags and stuff because um, this is quite thick. Um, I think it could be 240 uh, GSM if I remember um, correctly. But these files have been brilliant. I've been making my own like file folders uh, with them to do my altered file folders because they're better card than than the actual um, file folders. The Manila ones and the craft ones that <coughs> that I normally buy. Right, let's. I'll just pop that there. So it's quickly filling filling in. Okay, right, I'm going to have some more um, ledger paper and I'm going to bring it down here. So, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's super. I'm going to just take that plain bit off. Do I want to take the plain bit off the top? Yeah, I do. Even though I've not done it there, but I may actually cover that, that bit over. So, that can go. Good. I need to slide it up a bit. Okay. We just need to put a little bit of glue. You just rub your hand over it. You can you can feel where it's not stuck down. <coughs> I won't worry about that because I'll be sticking something over the top anyway. Let's just cut this. That's better. Okay, so that's that. Um, I think I'm gonna take that bit off. That bit off that bit off and I'm just going to tear down better because I've got this uh, horrible white white edge so I should just tear that down a little bit I don't want that there it's too samey so I'm going to have that there Okay. Maybe have it there. Let's get some of this um chat paper. So if I do it about that wide, could have done with doing it a little bit higher. So I'm thinking that can go across there, like so. So let's get that down. So I'm just going to pop that there. I'm going to pop that there so it gets rid of that bit there. So I'll do it up and then 
where to cut it off at the bottom. Okay, so that's that bit. Now that's got a different kind of thing and so I could do with a piece actually going um like that. So we could perhaps do book page again. So if I go down here and maybe across. So that could go there. <coughs> Rip that off there. So that would fit nicely there. Just going to tear it on this because I don't really want to lose that right in there. Yep. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's get this down. I have to be quite careful with this dictionary page. It is very, very thin. If I'm using it to make envelopes or something, I stick two pieces uh, together. Here, so I could have some of this. I'll just have a, a small, small amount. Yeah, just pop that there. Perfect to fit up here. Not really liking that. And uh, <coughs> now we've got text there. Don't really want music paper. Got a few. Oh no, I've got that there. And so I've not actually got that much of a variety of, of paper out. That could possibly go there. Yeah. I've got the white uh, part but if I put it the other way I'll probably end up cutting cutting it off because I think it hangs over slightly so if I just pop that there so it's got a bit of glue under there yep Okay, please stuck on me out. Right, 
right, what can we have here? What, so we definitely don't want text, don't want music, paper. We could have, oh, that nearly fits perfectly. Yeah, we could do that and then we could have some more <coughs> um, ledger there. Take that right up there. Okay. Just with me hands. Follow me. <coughs> Get a baby wipe out. Right. And how this could go. Let's take this bit off. And this bit. That can go there. That's fab. So that only took 20 minutes, which is pretty good, good going. Okay, I don't think we've got anywhere where we've, <coughs> where we've missed. Quite happy with that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's put the lid on there. So I'm, I'm going to turn it round, get my big scissors <coughs> and just go, yeah, just go round, round it where it's hanging off. Sorry. Well, just gone into the card a little bit. It's a bit hard to get get into the angle and be, <laughs> be on camera. Right, let's get this bit. Tiny little bits really make much of a difference. Let's try and get some of these. Right, that'll that'll do me. <coughs> to get my little brush and I'm gonna go in with the walnut stain so I'm just gonna go around like that and I think that is a lot quicker than individually inking each piece which is what I used to do um, and then you ink all the pieces and then you end up hiding some of the the edges so it's like a waste of time inking it right 
and then we're doing it in big pieces as well it's um it's i think it's quite quite quick if i knew how to fast forward i would put fast forward on now but come on let's go <laughs> let's do fast forward so do around here before i forget Okay, that's all that bit done. Is my head in shot? No. I felt as if my head was in, in shot. halfway halfway done if you don't want to ink don't ink um I, I really do like like the look of it quite enjoying it as well <laughs> it's, it's a bit like doing um like a puzzle <laughs> so that's that bit done yep I think I'll have to go go around with my um, art glitter just with the the tip and just get some of it. But I do think that that uh, glue stick is very very good. Yeah, definitely, it is probably um, one of the best ones I've used. I do like the Scotch Create, but in the UK we we can't get it. Um, DD Farago sent me. Um, a scotch create one and um yeah fabulous tried the evo i wasn't that keen on that tried the prit vic prit vic trip yeah you know what i mean um i have the economy ones from from amazon i'm not keen on them so i normally do use the scotch one but we have like a green one but it, it's it's a lot different to the to the Scotch creates, and I think that Elmer's feels as if it's kind of the same uh, kind of consistency. <laughs> it's got the same feeling about it. So that's all around there, and then I'm going to get my bigger brush, and I'm just gonna go. Okay. What a daft bit of paper that I've picked up. <laughs> oh well, at least I can move it round as I go. Let's move that ink with me instead of over over stretching. How many times do we do that? Especially with crafting. You keep over stretching. Um and there's there's no need is there it's like just bring the things to you but i think because our space does fill up very quick um yeah we can't have everything in our small space and i think we just get used to over over stretching but it's no no good for you it's no good for me i know that sometimes like after my <coughs> my arms and my chest and ribs really hurt and I think what have I done and it is only you know just not like stretching <clears throat> so I do try as much as possible not to over stretch So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks fab. 
so that only took i don't know about eight minutes to ink round i do think that was a lot quicker than <laughs> than doing it individual so i'm going to leave this one here um and then when we come back we will do a uh, stage stage two <laughs> um which i'm not sure what i'm doing yet so <laughs> i shall see you later i'm going to do the same as what i did <coughs> yesterday um i'll put them up every uh, couple of hours i've done it that way because um i've forward filmed a lot of things um and if i if I did these on separate days, it would probably be about August time when when I had, you know, um, a slot in my schedule, filming schedule. So that's why I've kind of um, done them like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry that there's, there's loads. I mean, obviously you don't have to, you don't have to watch them. But um, I know when I've not filmed things and then you, you will get people saying, oh, will you do a video about it? So I tend now to do a video whatever i'm doing because um what do you think somebody somebody's gonna want to watch it so that's me and i shall see you later see you in a bit 